A lot of Nigerians believe that the insecurity in the country needs you know, to be tackled right from the source of where those security issues have been taking place. But trying to put a prayer in, the, in replace of the security issue is something that a lot of Nigerians will be talking about this morning. The General Overseer of the Regime Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has said that the country's victory in its battle against insecurity is around the corner. I'm not sure whether he can travel on his own, from his town to town or from his village to the next village without the extra security that he carries along. But when an average Nigerian that have been kidnapped and the ransom close to 3 million, 10 million and sometimes up to 15 million has been paid, those individuals believe that prayer is not the answer to the issue of the insecurity in the country. Pastor Deboye made this known when he paid a costly visit to Nasser Arafai, who is the Gaduna state governor, where so much insecurity have taken place in the particular state in Kaduna, how he intend to pray, what kind of prayer is he going to be putting in place as against the security architect, I'm sure experts around the world would love to know that so that we can use that same prayer to solve majority of the crises around the world. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's let's start already. You give us a live report. You give for you, Anthony Adeneji. Good morning to you, Mohammed uh, Masuki. Uh, good morning, uh, Suleiman Yusuf Olu Washinan uh, Olabode. Uh, it says well done there, uh, Olarami uh, Ogabi Kilanko. Okay, good morning to you, and Omotoke Akingulogbi. My apologies if I misspelled your name and. Morakinyo, Akinlo, Akinloi, uh, where he says, well done, my brother. Uh, good morning there as well. Now, still, still on the insecurity uh, issues going on in Nigeria, the, the defense secretary uh, or the defense minister has come out to say that, hey, listen, military security agency, that don't, right, don't, don't be afraid of the bullet at all. So when somebody says that, then I think that, whoa, maybe they're giving them all the necessary gadgets or some of those accoutrements to be able to do this. Have you been given something extra, ordinary, maybe bulletproof, um, well, vest, and maybe uh, everything, and they are well armed? What exactly is Well, uh, you know, the, the, those that believe that, um, that the insecurity in Nigeria will be resolved, you know, with the new chief of, uh, you know, chief of uh, defense staff will have to wait for a very long time. The previous, you know, man in charge, even at some point, you know, demonstrated how tough he is by visiting the particular axis of that, uh, you know, the most terrorized area, you know, to live among them. But you will expect that, uh, you know, by living there, it would resolve some of the issues and the problem. But in the end, after he left the office, we realized that so many, you know, in, in, in complexity of, uh, you know, funding that was meant for the military, you know, is still being, uh, you know, cannot be accounted for. Uh, but um, the, the issue that so many Nigerians would like to find out is who is behind the funding, you know, of these organized criminals that have become one of the most major threat to lives and property as we speak today. Let us also remind ourselves what the former deputy governor of uh, Central Bank said, Dr. Obadia, made us known that while the lockdown was taking place, you know, some individuals, the element of the people that even one of the current governor of the northern part of the country is involved in the architect of what is happening. That shows that, uh, you know, prayer is not going to solve issues like this. What is going to solve it is intelligent gathering and likewise to know the source of who is really behind those pretending to be caturreras rather than those being known as the Fulani terrorists creating havoc across the whole of the country. Mohammed Jashola, good morning to you. Uh, Marakino, good morning to you. John Smith says, they look the money for arms and you are telling the army not to be afraid of bullets. Is that not crazy? Well, if that is not crazy, let's see what else Mr. Lani Koyki has got for us. Over to you, Yomi. Well, uh, you know, after the very busy weekend, we're going to come back to, you know, some of those activities, especially when the declaration, uh, you know, of the, uh, of another 120 days have been given, you know, to continue, you know, a peaceful, 
uh, consultation with the diploma, the you know the artisan, the you know the motorcycle rider, the market women. When it comes to you know the uh, 17th of April when the mega rally took place in the Badon. we're going to talk about that you know you know before the end of the broadcast. But let's come back to job creation in Nigeria. As we speak today, uh, during the rally, I, I picked up one of the video where the mother was complaining bitterly of how much she has spent to send her son to the university, and yet, you know, the son doesn't have a job. Federal government commenced partial payment of the spitent for 774,000 jobs. Uh, a lot of Nigerians are out of job, and those that are working are not being paid to the standard of what you will expect individuals to be paid, you know, when they're doing the job. 2020, 23. Buhari's successor should come from the southeast, says Clark. You know, these are still people that believe that there will be a 2023 as against those that think and know that 2023 should not hold with the 1999 fraudulent constitution that has kept so many Nigerians in bondage. Also, Tinubu urged distributor receivers of Ramadan rice gift to verify source. You know, likewise, the worry Itakwe real life freight services to create more jobs. Army confers fellowship on this day editorial board member and then also PDP urge Buhari to remove Patami for alleged sympathy for terrorists as well is also part of the headline. Let's go back to some of the other headlines and then we come back into the you know the conversation back in the studio. This is Star Radio UK the morning show and the time is exactly quarter past eleven and live here from the southwest of the country where we are reporting from. Just as we're coming on air. Uh, there was another breaking news where gunmen attack zone 13 police headquarter burnt cars in Anambra. We've seen the issues of places where you know gunmen goes in and attack. You know we saw what took place in Imo State. The Biafra was pointed out until the governor came out and you know refused that information that those behind it are not the Biafra. Also, stop bribing judges with cars. We can buy them cars for striking. That is also coming up from Cross River State. Most of the judiciary are not being paid. Most of the teachers are not being paid well. Almost the whole sector have issues when it comes to payment. And when there's no payment, and when you have a court case, and you can be able to bribe the judge with a brand new car, that means the tendency of getting a final result of the court case will not be something of a favorable to you. But the stop bribing judge with cars is the headline coming this morning as well. Also, Senator Chris Anyangu emerged the first female pioneer president of the Insuka Unoma. And uh, likewise, you know, some of the other headlines that has coming up from this particular uh, side of the country this morning uh, is the 18.17% inflation rate not healthy for Nigeria's economy. We talked about this at length last week during the, you know, the morning show, but this is still generating a lot of conversation among Nigerians this morning. I will take one more. Come back again to you in the studio, and then we continue with the conversation. Neither APC nor PDP can deliver Nigeria. Yakasi, you know, a lot of our conversation has been going on, you know, on on the move of whether Nigeria should be divided into different units, and then people can be able to take care of their own region. You know, restructuring to some people is still the right word, but restructuring has been something that has been ongoing. When I was in GSS two, people have been talking about restructuring as far back as 1991. And this is 21st century, and we're still talking about restructuring. So a lot of Nigerians, especially from the South and the Southeast, believe that restructuring is, is too late. Neither the ruling or progressive Congress, APC, nor the main opposition People's Democratic Party is capable of returning Nigeria to the path of progress, according to the elder statement Alaji Tanko Yakasi has said. According to him, speaking against the background of the problems plaguing the country, he said, and I quote, the country has become a cesspool of corruption, caution by politicians in collaboration with the bad element in the civil service. Mr. Achi, the civil service or the civil servants are those that knows what is going on inside and outside the country and 